Hey friends, let's take a look at our assignment for the day today. Let's go to activities and click on week three and four because we're on week four today. Let's find out what we're doing today. All right, week three, let's see what we worked on. We worked on learning about lines. We read a book, we watched a video, we practiced some lines together, we analyzed some art that had different types of lines, and we got some inspiration to start planning a playground design that had many different types of lines. Last week I told you that in your planning, you should make sure that your playground that you design is creative and a playground that you would love to play on and that it has 10 different types of lines in all of the equipment in your playground. So once you finished your playground design today, what I would like you to start to do is click on this next video to learn about what a sculpture is because we're gonna start making a sculpture today. Once you've learned about a sculpture, then you're going to start creating your own sculpture. Watch this video next to see how to fold and cut and glue different types of paper to create different types of lines. Your sculpture is going to look like your playground that you designed. So once you learn about how to make different types of lines with your paper, then it's time to start creating. When I started to create my playground here, I took one big piece of paper. You can use the white construction paper from your art bag as the bottom of your sculpture. And on top is where you'll glue, with your glue stick, all of your different types of lines. Each line should look like one of the lines that you drew in your playground design. Make sure you have at least 10 sculpture lines in your final sculpture. When you finish Boys and Girls, either today or next week, you're going to post a picture of your final sculpture here. Take a picture of your with your iPad, post your sculpture here. Then take a little video of you talking about your art. Maybe you can hold up your sculpture in your video and describe what you did, what you created. You can talk about your design and how all the little lines relate to your design and how you got some inspiration from your planning worksheet and post that video here. So friends, I'm gonna give you this week and next week to work on this. I know this assignment says only week three and four, but I think this is a pretty big sculpture project. So I'm gonna give you the rest of the time today to work on creating your sculpture. And if you need time next week, I will let you work on this next week as well, okay? So as a reminder, we're gonna finish our planning first. We're gonna learn about what sculpture is. Then we're gonna learn about how we can create a sculpture using the construction paper from our art bag, the little tiny pieces of construction paper, our scissors and our glue stick, folding, cutting, and gluing these pieces of paper together to create our sculpture. Okay, friends, I hope you have fun with this. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment on your assignment in Seesaw, and I will get back to you very shortly. Have fun.